Blessings, everyone. Hope you are doing well. This is Pastor Hector Quinones. I am now going to be going over chapter number 10, book number one, side by side again, chapter number 10, book number one, side by side. I hope that you completed chapter number nine and also the workbook. So make sure you continue working hard. And if you have any questions, please make sure you let me know. All right. So we should be ready and make sure you repeat everything out loud. <clears throat> when I say picture, make sure you take a picture. If you don't have your book so you can complete the work, make sure you're also completing all the exercises. Remember, I only do a portion with you, okay? Because I want to give you the opportunity to make sure you complete them and then I can check them for you when, when I check your notebook. So here we go, ready or not. We're going to get started. So chapter 10 talks about simple present tense. We're going to be talking about yes and no questions. We're also going to be talking about negatives and short answers. And also habitual actions. Habitual actions are actions that you do periodically. You do them, um, uh, you do them in a routine. Okay, so they come out actually um, a little bit more than usual. People's interests and activities as well. So here are some examples. So please repeat after me. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Remember to get that TH, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, babysit. Clean, do yoga. Remember, when you have a Y, you say yoga, okay? 11, go dancing, jog. 13, play volleyball, volleyball, ride. See a movie, see a play. Very good. So now we're gonna look at Stanley's International Restaurant and we're looking at the blue boxes like we usually do. So make sure you repeat after me. He cooks, third person, so we have the S. He doesn't cook. Now look at this. When you use doesn't, you use does not, there is no S there. Don't forget that rule. Does he cook? When you're asking a question, there is no S there. You see that? No S. <clears throat> yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Repeat after me. Again, let's try it. He cooks. He doesn't cook. Does he cook? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. What kind of food does he cook? When does he cook? So notice when you're asking a question, no S, okay? In third person. So here we go. I'm going to read consistently. Please try reading along with me. Stanley's International Restaurant is a very special place. Every day, Stanley cooks a different kind of food. On Monday, he cooks Italian food. On Tuesday, he cooks Greek food. On Wednesday, he cooks Chinese food. On Thursday, he cooks Puerto Rican food. On Friday, he cooks Japanese food. On Saturday, he cooks Mexican food. And on Sunday, he cooks American food. What kind of food does Stanley cook on Monday? On Monday, he cooks, right, third person. We make sure we add the S. He cooks Italian food. 
Now notice in English, when you say Italian, to talk about where somebody's from, or to talk about uh, the country, or if you say Italy, or if you say, I speak Italian, I eat Italian food, you have to use a capital I, okay? In Spanish, you don't, so that's good to know. Here we go. Let's continue on. Does Stanley cook Greek food on Tuesday? Yes, he does. Let's look at the next question. Let's practice this conversation. Does Stanley cook Japanese food on Sunday? No, he doesn't. When does he cook Japanese food? He cooks Japanese food on Friday. So you need to make sure that you know this information in order to continue through. So you may want to, let me go down, take a picture, click, click, maybe here too, click, click. So you know how to put the sentences together as we, we, we move on to the next assignment. So ask six questions with no answer, ask six questions with yes answer answers. We are not doing this together right now. So please write them down and I can check them for you when we go over the chapter. So repeat after me, you go, you don't go, you do not go. Do you go? Yes, I do. Yes, we do. No, I don't. No, we don't. When do you go? Do you go to Stanley's restaurant on Wednesday? Yes, I do. Why? Because I like Chinese food. So, you need to ask a question using the examples that are here. So, number one, do you go to Stanley's restaurant on Monday? That's number one. Yes, I do. Why? We have to look back here. Because why? Italian food, right? Because I like Italian food. Good. So make sure you write it down. Then make sure you take a picture, click, click, so you could do these exercises. I will read one more example here before we move on to the next two sections. So take a picture of this one to click, click. Do you go to Stanley's restaurant on Sunday? No, I don't. Why not? because I don't like American food. So let's look at number five. Do you go to Stanley's restaurant on Tuesday? No, I don't. Why not? Let's look Tuesday, Greek food, right? No, I don't. Why not? Because I don't like Greek food. And the last one, what kind of food do you like? I like Russian food. When do you go to Stanley's restaurant? I don't go there. Why not? Because Stanley doesn't cook Russian food. You're going to use that example to answer 9 through 12. Okay, take a picture and let's continue on. All right, busy people. Take a picture of this. You're going to need it. Jeff is a very athletic person. He does a different kind of exercise or sport every day. On Monday, he jogs. On Tuesday, he plays tennis. On Wednesday, he does, he does yoga. On Thursday, he swims. On Friday, he goes to a health club. On Saturday, he plays basketball. And on Sunday, he rides his bike. Let's look at the next one. Another busy person. Julie is a very busy student. She does a different activity every day. On Monday, she sings in the choir. On Tuesday, she plays in the orchestra. 
On Wednesday, she writes for the school newspaper. On Thursday, she plays volleyball. On Friday, she babysits for her neighbors. On Saturday, she works at the mall. And on Sunday, she visits her grandparents. So make sure you take a picture, click, click. Last one. Mr. and Mrs. Baker are very active people. They do something different every day of the week. On Monday, they go to a museum. On Tuesday, they see a play. On Wednesday, they go to a concert. On Thursday, they take a karate lesson. On Friday, they go dancing. On Saturday, they see a movie. And on Sunday, they play cards with their friends. Make sure you take a picture, click, click. Okay, we're going to now use this information to answer these questions. So repeat after me. Yes, I do. Yes, we do. Yes, you do. Yes, they do. Yes, he does. Yes, she does. Yes, it does. No, I don't. No, we don't. No, you don't. No, they don't. No, he doesn't. No, she doesn't. No, it doesn't. So let's repeat these examples. Number one. Does Jeff play tennis on Tuesday? Yes, he does. Make sure you repeat after me every single one or you could read along with me, okay? Next one. Does Julie work at the mall on Saturday? Yes, she does. Do Mr. and Mrs. Baker go dancing on Friday? Yes, they do. Next one. Does Jeff do yoga on Sunday? No, he doesn't. Does Julie sing in the choir on Thursday? No, she doesn't. Do Mr. and Mrs. Baker see a movie on Monday? No, they don't. Do you swim on Thursday? Yes, I do. Do you go dancing on Friday? Yes, we do. Do you play volleyball on Sunday? No, I don't. Do you see a play on Monday? No, we don't. So now what you have to do here, this is very important because this is the assignment. You need to interview Jeff Julie and Mr. and Mrs. Baker <coughs> practice conversations with other students. You can practice this at home and you're gonna practice asking questions like the ones that you see up here, okay? So please make sure you practice. We have another reading, here we go. I'm going to read steady and consistent. I hope you can read along with me. One, two, three. Every weekend is important to the Garcia family. That's the title. Let's begin. One, two, three. Every weekend is important to the Garcia family. During the week, they don't have very much time together, but they spend a lot of time together on the weekend. Mr. Garcia works at the post office during the week, but he doesn't work there on the weekend. Mrs. Garcia works at the bank during the week, but she doesn't work there on the weekend. Jennifer and Jonathan Garcia go to school during the week, but they don't go to school on the weekend. And the Garcia's dog, Max, stays home alone during the week but he doesn't stay home alone on the weekend. On 
Saturday and Sunday, the Garcias spend time together. On Saturday morning, they clean the house together. On Saturday afternoon, they work in the garden together. And on Saturday evening, they watch videos together. On Sunday morning, they go to church together. On Sunday afternoon, they have a big dinner together. And on Sunday evening, they play their musical instruments together. As you can see, every weekend is special to the Garcias. It's their only time together as a family. So make sure you take a picture, click, click. If you don't have it, click, click. And here are the questions. You need to read these questions. And after you read all these questions, you need to answer using complete sentences, please. Make sure you use complete sentences <clears throat> and you'll be able to move from there. And then I'll be able to check it when I check your notebook. All right, let's do the listening section. Here we go. Listen carefully. Listen and choose the word you hear. What's the word, do or does? Listen carefully. Number one, do you work on Monday? Very good. Number two, does your daughter go to this school? Very good. Number three, we do a different activity every Sunday. Excellent. Number four, Larry doesn't play a sport. Great. Number five, we don't go to Stanley's restaurant. Great. Number six, Sally goes to a health club every week. Good job. Number seven, she babysits for her neighbors every Thursday. Good hearing, good listening. That's good practice. You're listening and you're using your hearing very well, paying attention. Number eight, they go to work every morning. Excellent. Let's do the next one. What's the answer? Listen and choose the correct response. Do you speak Korean? Very good. Number two. Does Mrs. Wilson go to Stanley's restaurant? Very good. Number three. Does your sister live in Los Angeles? Good job. Number four. Do you and your brother clean the house together? Excellent. No, we don't. Number five, does your husband like American food? Excellent. Number six, do you go to school on the weekend? Excellent, no, I don't. Number seven, do you and your friends play tennis? Yes, we do. Number eight, does your cousin live in this neighborhood? Excellent. Now this section over here, please, please write it down in your journal, in your notebook. Tell about yourself, what do you do during the week? What do you do on the weekend? Now tell about another person, a friend, someone in your family or another student. What does he do during the week or what does she do during the week? And the last one, what does he or she do on the weekend? Excellent. All right. You're doing well so far. So let's continue on. <clears throat> we have another reading. 
Here we go. Remember, all these words, pretty much all of them, you already learned them. So if you find anything that you don't remember what it means and you have to look it up in the dictionary, please write it down in your dictionary so you can continue reviewing and studying your dictionary, your own personal dictionary, and be ready to do this reading. Here we go. A very outgoing person. Let's read together. One, two, three. Alice is a very outgoing person. She spends a lot of time with her friends. She goes to parties, she goes to movies, and she goes to concerts. She's very popular. She also likes sports very much. She plays basketball, she plays baseball, and she plays volleyball. She's very athletic. Alice doesn't stay home alone very often. She doesn't read many books. She doesn't watch TV and she doesn't listen to music. She's very active. As you can see, Alice is a very outgoing person. Now in your own words, we'll take a picture, click, click if you need it. Now we're gonna talk about, this is an outgoing person. We're gonna talk about a shy person. Listen carefully. Using the story about Alice as a model, tell a story about Sheldon, begin your story. So this one says that Alice is very outgoing. Now you're gonna talk about Sheldon, how he's a very shy person. He doesn't spend a lot of time with his friends. He doesn't go. So here are some pictures. And these pictures, the different areas, are going to tell you a lot about the things that he likes and does not like to do. So you can write using those areas. So please write it similar to the paragraph that we just, to the story that we just read a second ago. And then you are going to proceed to do the same about yourself. And you're going to put this in your journal. Tell about yourself. What kind of person are you? Are you outgoing, shy, active, athletic? Tell how you spend your time. And we'll go from there. Okay, how to say it. How to say it. Here we go. <clears throat> Starting a conversation. Repeat after me. Tell me, what kind of movies do you like? I like comedies. Who's your favorite movie star? Tim Kelly. So you can use this to practice asking people information about themselves, things that they like, things that they don't like. So this is for an interview. You're going to first answer. This is very important. First, me right here you're going to answer the questions about yourself next you're going to interview another person we're not in class together so you're going to interview someone at home and then you're going to tell the class about yourself and and the other students so this is what i want you to do i want you to complete page 95 after you do it i want you to send me a video and I'm going to share the video with the class so we can see it. Okay? You can do it. So let's look at some examples of questions that you can use. What kind of movies do you like? Who's your favorite movie star? And then we have choices. Comedies, dramas, westerns. Repeat after me. Adventure movies, science fiction movies, cartoons. Okay, hey, number two, what kind of books do you like? Who's your favorite author? Novels, poetry, short stories, nonfiction, biographies. Number three, what kind of TV programs do you like? Who's your favorite TV star? Comedies, dramas, cartoons, game shows, new programs. 
Oh, sorry, not new programs. News, news programs. Number four, what kind of music do you like? Who's your favorite performer? Classical music? Popular music? Jazz? Rock music? Country music? Number five, what kind of sports do you like? Who's your favorite athlete? What's your favorite team? Football, baseball, soccer, golf, hockey, tennis. Good job. So let's practice the pronunciation. Listen and repeat after me. What kind of movies do you like? And then where you pay attention to the pronunciation is that often when we say that in sentences like this, the F sound kind of disappears. So what kind of movies do you like? It's almost like you don't hear it, right? Next, what kind of books do you like? She spends a lot of time with her friends. What kind of music do you like? What kind of TV programs do you like? I read a lot of books. And this kind of comes together, a lot of. And then here you have kind of, kind of, right? Comes together, it makes us ride together. So please complete your journal, put it in your notebook. What do you do during the week? What do you do on the weekend? Write about it in your journal. And let's finish up by reviewing the last grammar topics that we have reviewed in this chapter. Please repeat after me. <clears throat> do I work? Do we work? Do you work? Do they work? Does he work? Does she work? Does it work? Yes, I do. Yes, we do. Yes, you do. Yes, they do. Yes, he does. Yes, she does. Yes, it does. No, I don't. No, we don't. No, you don't. No, they don't. No, he doesn't. No, she doesn't. No, it doesn't. I don't work. We don't work. You don't work. They don't work. He doesn't work. She doesn't work. It doesn't work. Days of the week. Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, nationalities, American, Chinese, Greek, Italian, Japanese, Mexican, Puerto Rican, languages, English, Chinese, Greek, Italian, Japanese, Spanish, Spanish, describing people, active, athletic, busy, outgoing, popular, shy, everyday activities, babysit, clean, do yoga, Go dancing, jog, play volleyball, ride a bicycle, see a movie, <clears throat> see a play. Well done. We have just finished with chapter number 10, book number one, side by side. Keep up the good work. We're going to look at the Gazette, the upcoming Gazette. So let's just go over it. 
to build vocabulary and just practice everyday reading. Here we go. Language. Millions speak Chinese. Only hundreds speak Bahinimo. There are over 20,000 languages in the world. I would like to remind you that when you see the comma there, or whatever you see the comma, okay, um, the first comma that you see and the second one, you are going to say thousand, okay? Let's continue on. Some of these languages are very common. For example, millions of people speak Chinese, Spanish, English, Arabic, Portuguese, and Japanese. On the other hand, some languages are very rare. For example, only 500, spe 500 people in Papua, New Guinea, speak the language Bahinimo. Languages grow and change. They borrow words from other languages. For example, in the English language, the word rodeo is from Spanish. Cafe comes from French. Ketchup is from Chinese. Sofa is from Arabic. And potato comes from Haitian Creole. New words also come from technology. For example, cyberspace, website, and email are recent words that relate to the internet. So let's look at these examples. Repeat after me. Every day I get up. Every day I take a shower. Every day I brush my teeth. Every day I comb my hair. Every day I get dressed. Every day I go to school. Every day I go to work. Every day I eat. Every day I take a bath. And every day I go to bed. Take a picture of this, click, click, so you can see the different languages around the world and you can study this graph that allows you to learn more about them. So please take a picture. Then we're gonna do this exercise around the world. People around the world exercise in different ways. For example, some people exercise in health clubs. Some people exercise at the beach. Some people go hiking. Hiking is when you go walking for a period of time. And some people exercise together outdoors. How do people exercise in your country? Please write down the answer in your chapter book. And let's look at global exchange. I am a very active person. I jog, I swim, I go to a lot of movies and concerts. I sing in a choir, I play basketball with my friends every weekend. I like rock music and jazz <clears throat> i don't i don't watch tv very often i only watch news news programs i read a lot of books i like novels my favorite author is tom clancy how about you tell me about your activities and interests and We have a section here where I'm gonna share a listening. You're gonna have to rewind it and maybe listen to it. So I'm gonna repeat it. I'm gonna say it, listen carefully. Here we go. Hello, this is, international, this is the International Cafe, your special place for wonderful entertainment every day of the week. Every day, the International Cafe presents a different kind of entertainment. On Monday, Antonio Bello plays Italian classical music. On Tuesday, Miguel Garcia reads Spanish poetry. On Wednesday, Amanda Silva sings Brazilian jazz. On Thursday, Nina Markova reads Russian short stories. On Friday, Hiroshi Tanaka plays Japanese rock music. 
On Saturday, Rita Rivera sings Mexican popular music. And on Sunday, Slim Wilkins sings American country music. So come to our, to the International Cafe, your special place for wonderful entertainment every day of the week. And the last portion, and we are finished. Please look at this picture and create a conversation as to what is being said in this interview. Well done. This is the Gazette right after chapter 10, book number one in Side by Side. God bless you. Keep on studying. And thank you very much. Remember that you can do it. I believe in you. God bless.